Today, our goal was to explore Montreal's biggest abandoned building, Silo Number no. 5. Built in the early 1900s, it was previously a massive machine for the movement of grain. Equipped with 206 silos and three different structures, it measures almost half a kilometer long and 66.4 meters tall. We thought the site would be deserted, but the city recently covered the area with barbed wire and its own security force. We had to find a way around. Warning signs were everywhere, the doors were bolted to the walls and we were probably being watched. After walking around the building, we finally found a broken, rusty ladder leading up to a small opening. And when we finally got inside, we were blown away. The building has been abandoned for over two decades and all that is left is apocalyptic imagery with a glimpse into Montreal's past. At its peak, Silo No. 5 could store enough grain to produce over 230 million loaves of bread and handle hundreds of millions of bushels of grain every year. But in 1994, as a result of the progressive decrease in Montreal's dominance of grain export, Silo No. 5 was completely shut down and deserted. Every inch was covered in dust and spider webs. But here's what we found. Old office space with a desk still at its place and building layouts still on the wall. Gunshots through the office windows and clothes showing hints of vagabonds stopping by. Non-functional buttons and generators. And finally, the contrasting imagery from the rusty old windows with the beautiful Montreal in its background. And then, we found a staircase leading down into a pitch dark basement covered in caution tape. And at the bottom, hints of other trespassers were left behind with broken glass and beer cans. We were now looking for a way up. All doors inside were bolted to the walls, but we finally found some light. I'm gonna scout and see if we can... Our hopes were however shattered when we found the staircase leading to the top cut in half. Reaching the top seemed impossible. We left sign of our visit and decided to look for another way to the top. When we came out, the cars were pulling up where we entered and people were coming our way. We were hiding for a few minutes and eventually decided to walk around, which is when we stumbled upon another opening. The doors were again all shut, but we found a hole in the wall with a light at the end. As we walked inside, we found recent signs of life with undusted clothes, utensils, and toilet paper. We also found more impressive rusty engines, ropes, and wires. As we got higher, we reached our first door and got a glimpse of the factory from a higher point. We had to be careful of the holes in the ground, but we got to see the city like we never have before. We finally found a light leaning up to the top. And it was glorious. A factory that once used to be part of one of Montreal's most prominent times, but now just standing as old ruins. And leaves only our imagination to picture what it used to be. Walking back, we couldn't stop thinking about the hundreds, if not thousands of workers these buildings used to inhabit that are now just standing empty at the edge of the city. See you tomorrow.